everybody this is crystal so today i'm going to review um at the time of this video this is one of lion brand's <clears throat> newer yarns it's lion brand ice cream deluxe now first off i must say that i'm not affiliated with lion brand i purchased this yarn with my own money and i do not have affiliated links to where if you buy the yarn i make money I do not care if you buy it. Um, I just like to do reviews on yarn that are non-sponsored and non-affiliated. That way you know. I just try to be 100% honest. So, let's go over it real quick. Let me grab one up and let's look at it. Okay. Let me turn my camera down just a bit. A Lion Brand Ice Cream Deluxe. The packaging is really neat. I like the cones and the or the ice cream in the Sunday um, glasses. Okay, it's five ounces or 142 grams, 155 yards or 142 meters, 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. Now, I would not have guessed that that is 100% acrylic. I did not look at the label. I assumed that it was a type of polyester. Boy, was I wrong. Okay, so it's a 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. It's classified as a bulky number six. A knitting needle a recommendation is a nine millimeter and a crochet hook a recommendation is also a nine millimeter. Um, let's see if we can, I probably already passed it. Made in Turkey as most yarns are. Okay. So you can see by the looks of it, um, they all consist of, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Five to six different colors. Let me look. Yeah. I think they all have about six different color stripes in them. Okay, when I first feel it, when I first saw this, um, I got it in a mail and it was wrapped in plastic. I thought, you know, that's going to be like a type of uh, their Lion Brand Velux, like a type of velvet yarn. And it's actually not like that at all. It's more of a Chanel filling yarn. It's not quite as soft as the velvets, but it's not, it's not unpleasant. Um, you know, I can, I can make a scarf with it. Um, it would be a nice baby blanket. You know, I wouldn't hesitate to wear a scarf or anything like that with it. But it isn't as soft as the, as the velvet. You have to remember that. It feels more like Chanel. Um, so, let's read about it on their site. It says, this Chanel cake yarn comes in an array of juicy colors. That's quite a way to describe it. Um, from pastels to more vibrant hues. Stitch up everything from home decor like pillows and throws to wearable accessories like scarves and hats for anyone that loves the colors. Each cake moves through one non-repeating color sequence. So yes, it appears that they have, like I said, the six colors and it says they do not repeat the color. Okay, so they have four, six, eight, ten, 21 colors available on their website. All the colors are very, very pretty. And, and they're right. There are some really dark, pretty, uh, um, vibrant colors. And there are a lot of pastels to it. So, I'm going to set this. Oh, I'm going to tell you the colors I have here. See this one? I thought was really pretty. This one is called Osberry. Asbury. And then, of course, I got to get my rounds in there. This has, it goes from... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, light brown, a medium brown, a green, medium green, a light green, a tan, and then a gold. So six in that one too. This one's called Goose Lake. Okay. So I did a bit of crocheting with it. Now their recommended hook size was the nine millimeter. So that is what I am using, the nine millimeter. And I think that is a good recommendation. Now this is classified as a bulky six. 
Um, I've seen thicker bulky sixes, but I still think that you can classify this as a bulky six or a very thick five weight. You can look at it. This is about what it looks like. It feel it comes out of the skein a little flat looking, but I think it can be rounded out. The fibers are cut short. It is soft, but, but like, I, like I'm saying, it's not silky soft like the velvets. It is a Chanel filling yarn. It really does surprise me that it was 100% acrylic. It does have a sheen on it, quite a shine. Makes it very pretty. So here's my test swatch I did. So I did some single crochet there at the bottom and I did some bobbles to make sure the stiff de definition would show, which I figured that it would. And then I did some doubles. Now that, that's their recommended nine millimeters. So there is quite of a gap there with that big hook. If I made something out of this, I might drop down to a six and a half millimeter. That would be my preference. But um, if you were gonna make something and you wanted like a shawl or something or a Lucy uh, drapey shirt, of course you'd wanna make a bigger, you'd wanna use a bigger hook on that. I'm thinking about making a hat out of mine though. So that's what it looks like. So crochet wise, it's relatively easy to crochet with. I really don't have much problem crocheting with it. I, I just am in shock that it's 100% acrylic. I would never have guessed that. And I just read it right as I was doing this review. I was just under the assumption that it was a polyester yarn. So that just goes to show you that they can make some pretty cool yarns out of acrylic, I guess. Sure fool me. But as you can see, you know, of course it's not gonna split. It's one solid piece of yarn and it crochets quite smoothly. No problem with that at all. So we're going to see how well, like if you make a mistake, because I make mistakes often, if it comes out uh, good. So that's the test swatch. And as you can see, the striping is very long. This green is just about over, and then it's going to go to a lighter color. But they have long stripes. You feel that. Can you hear that? That's the feeling of Chanel yarn. Or that's the, the sound of Chanel yarn. It may sound scratchy, but it's not. I think a baby, it is, it's just not, I just can't explain it. It's not as flimsy as the velvet, but it's still soft. If you've ever felt, felt Chanel yarn, you'd know what I'm talking about. I like it. I like it. I think it's really pretty. Okay, let's test it out, see if it comes out okay. I'm having my doubts on it. And I kind of think maybe it might break when it comes out. Or mess the yarn up. Well, it's coming out okay. Look at me, I just don't know my yarn anymore. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I thought it was polyester and I thought it wouldn't come out very well without breaking the yarn. It's coming out pretty good. It's getting a little stuck, but you just give it a little yank and it comes right out. It's nothing I have to go through and try to undo by hand. Just a little yank and it comes right out. All right, so if you make a mistake, you don't have to worry about trying to dig through it to get it out. If it gets hung up, just give it a little bit tighter of a tug. There we go. How strong is this stuff? And let me see, did that mess up the yarn taking it apart? It didn't. Sometimes these uh, yarns like this, they tend to split at the spine and you'll like some of the fuzzies will come off at the spine, especially the velvet I noticed is real delicate. This one seems to be a lot more sturdier. The spine doesn't seem at all messed up. I mean spine, I mean that piece of thread that's holding all these fibers on. Sometimes the fibers will break away and it'll just be an open string there, but I'm not seeing that right now after pulling this out. Nice, it came out nice, I'm happy with it. Let me try to break a piece, see how strong it is. Now I'm not the Incredible Hulk, so. Okay. So it did break. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes when you pull yarn out, like this type of yarn out, it'll leave just a string and no fibers on it, but it didn't really do that. But now the fibers are pulling off of that string really easy. So, 
when you cut it, you're going to have to make sure and sew it in really quick. See the fibers is pulling off of that. It breaks, but it doesn't break like super, super easy. You do got to give it a little bit of a tug. See that? There we go. So I, I, I wouldn't really worry about it breaking on like during your project. I think it does take a little bit of a tug to break, but once it breaks and that one string is exposed that's holding it together, fibers just fly off of it. Now I haven't noticed any fibers coming off at all when I was crocheting with it. They seem to be pretty sturdy in there. Okay, now we go over the price of it. Now I have only can find it, I could be wrong, I can only find it right now on lionbrand.com and that could be because it's so new. Um, and it very well could be to, at other places. If you've seen it at other places, Joanne's, Michael's or something, let me know in the comments, you know, because I, I'm, you know, I just do a quick web search and I just seen it on lionbrand.com. Now it runs $7.99 a cake. $7.99 a cake and that is for 155 yards of a bulky six. Okay. Now you know when you buy bulky sixes that the yardage is always low. Um, so let me think for a minute. If I was going to compare this to say their Lion brand Hometown, which Hometown USA, which is a bulky six, I think it has about 80 yards in it. And I think you can get them at Walmart for about $3. So if I bought two of those, it would be $6 for the same amount of yarn, or pretty close. Um, and this is actually a lot better than that. This is, would be kind of a specialty yarn. Now, $7.99 may seem like a steep price for the yardage, but you have to remember that it is a bulky six, so it goes further. Uh, you know, I'm, I'll definitely be able to make a hat out of um, one skein and probably have, you know, have some left over. <sighs> I think it's a fair price, all things considering Boggy 6, 155 yards. But, I always like to get things on sale. And LionBrand.com has sales all the time. They are one of the major yarn companies that offer sales all the time. Like 30% off, 40% off, 45% off. So it would not be hard to get this at 40% off. Um, $7.99 so you know like $4 that is way worth $4 if you could get it for that I mean it is $7.99 I guess I mean it's an okay price for it's an okay price for the yarn being so nice or in my opinion I like it and for it being a bulky six and not you know 155 yards if you were comparing it to the other bulky sixes on the market. But no one wants to pay that price. I don't blame you. I, you know, I wouldn't want to pay it either. I bought it whenever they were having a 40% off sale. So I didn't pay $7.99 either. So I think that, you know, getting it on sale from lionbrand.com when they have one of their nice 30 or 40% off sales, which is very often, you should give it a go. I always recommend, though, just buying one skein for one cake. Um... Just in case you don't like it, because remember, these are just my opinions, my personal opinions on yarn. And, you know, I like it. Um, I'm not, like, super in love with it, but it's a yarn that I would repurchase and make things out of. Um, I would call this, if I was to rate a yarn, like, one being horrible and ten being, like, super, super the best yarn ever, I'd probably give this, like, a six so it's kind of medium for me you know um i like it um i like getting it at 40 30 or 40 percent off and i like it enough to buy it again um i will probably undo this one and make a hat out of it for myself these i don't know what i'll do with yet but that's my review and but like i said my opinions can be different from yours and that's fine that's what makes the world go around everybody's different so um have you tried this 
Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Maybe go over to Lion Brand and check out the colors they have. You know, the colors are really pretty. I don't know. They might be having a sale right now. I, I couldn't tell you. They have sales so often. I don't. I have no idea. But, um, and let me know if you've seen it any place other than um, lionbrand.com. I want to know that too. But, yeah, it's, it's probably about a 6 out of 10 for me. It's something I would repurchase. I like the yarn. Um... And, you know, I'll buy it again. So, once again, I must remind you, I'm not affiliated with Lion Brand. I did buy this. So, those are just my 100% honest, unaffiliated opinions. Opinions. That's all they are. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to let me know whatever you think about this. If you tried it. If not, let me know still what you think about it in the comments section. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.